I think it's a good appointment. It's a smart appointment. Um, you have to obviously get over the the fact that he, he was a, a, a big manager of a Tottenham and with the rivalry. But when you, you take that out of it, he's a manager that will relish the challenge of putting the club on back on a back on an even kill. He works with younger players. Um, he gets a high, a, a dynamic team, an energetic team. So all of all of the all of the reasons that you want to employ a manager for, uh, Pochettino ticks a box. So it's a, it's, a, it's exciting. Um, he just needs to be left alone now and just to do his work. You know, make sure you bring the players into the club that he wants to work with, that he feels are right for the team, and then and then and the recipe's there for success. I think a successful season for Chelsea has to be, you know, top four. Um, and again, it's just stabilising, like a lot of, of, of change at the club, structurally. Uh, last season, to the high standards, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't good enough. So this season, it, there needs to be some kind of, it needs to be showing that the, 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 it's moving in the right direction. And, and by that, I think, I think top four is reasonable. I think you've got to try and pick off your Newcastles of this world. They'll, 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 they'll be, find it difficult competing in the Champions League and challenging for the Champions League play. So, so I think there's an opportunity for Chelsea to, to, to finish in top four. I think Chelsea will miss Mason um, on the pitch because of his ability, off the pitch because of, of what he meant to the club, coming through his leadership qualities. There's lots of reason to miss it. I mean, we don't know the full story of the financial situation, uh, but the, the package that was offered to him, and you know, only only Mason and his his team and and Chelsea and the people there know what it was. But um, it, they couldn't get a deal done for whatever reason, and we wish him well. So, but there's there's a gap to fill, and players always move from clubs, and there's comings and goings, and someone's gonna have to step into that gap. And, and, and produce. Uh, yeah, it, it's just players leave and the clubs move forward and Chelsea have to move forward. The next captain at Chelsea, I think it's a it's a it's a really tough question. I think there's there's a lot obviously Thiago Silva was coming you know, he, he can't be going forever. Um, you know, will it eventually one day be a Levi Colwell if he, if he can establish himself? He, he's shown leadership abilities for a young man. Reese James, I think, you know, he, he, he's, he's got the, qu the quiet leadership abilities. It's going, to be, it's going to be someone who's going to have to emerge. It might be, a, it might be someone coming into the club. I think that again, and, and, and players like Mason is left, you know, that leaves, that leaves a hole. I think Declan, first of all, what he takes to Arsenal is he brings a top, top player. One of the best players in the world in his position. Um, he'll want to go and prove that he's, he's the best in that position in the league. You know, you've got Casemiro, you've got Rodri, um, amongst others. And, and then he'll want to show, I think he'll be in the settled side and he'll play that sort of defensive midfield role. Um, from West Ham's perspective, it's, it's, a, it's a huge sum of money. He goes with everyone's... Uh, best will, and and the money has to be has to be respent. And you know you're gonna you're not gonna replace Declan Rice like for like. You've got to bring in two or three players that strengthen the squad. I'd like to see Harvey Barnes come in to the club, like from a realistic perspective. Um, you know that's someone he's gonna want to play in the Premier League. He's a top player. He's a young English player, exciting. Um, would, I would have loved to have seen James Madison come in. I think we could have been in the market for, for him, but he, he's gone to Tottenham. Um, there's lots of, yeah, there's lots, of, lots of unrealistic targets you'd want, but but then, but but Harvey Barnes is someone I'd like to see coming.